justice agencies, and I think the police actually, um, do tend to do, and I think in particularly in Merseyside, a really good job at being quite proportionate in terms of their response and the way they, they particularly the public statements that they gave, um, that they give uh, in relation to these incidents. But I think there's a real responsibility around the media and the reporting um, of these type of in incidents, because the sad reality is there is a massive spike you know hate crime's been going up year on year um for as long as it's been recorded um and you know places like merseyside they've, I mean, they've got great projects they've got the Anthony walker foundation there that do some really great work on the ground but i think that i think it's all about having proportionate responses and um i agree with ian in that the asylum system if we if we were to look at that is not fit for purpose in terms of the the levels of support that the people get um, and the way that people are pro processed through the system. But I think it's also quite important to focus in on the fact that there does seem to be this correlation between uh, poor mental health and people committing these types of uh, violent acts. And therefore, at what point do those interventions take place? Who, who's responsible for picking that up? Are the justice agencies working closely with the health, health agencies to ensure that these issues are picked up? Um, in a timely manner and you know and and I'm sure um, Ian will know this far more than I do be, there's so much work that goes on you know these incidents thank goodness are so few and far between um, and I'm sure that many other incidents get picked up before uh, before anything actually happens but there does need to be better joint working um, and risk assessments being done.